everybody, welcome back to another haul video on the channel, Gio here. Let's start with some manga. Here we have Gantz Omnibus Volume 7 from Hiroya Oku. I'm finally starting to get into Gantz. I'm currently in the second Omnibus, halfway through that, and have been really enjoying my time reading it. And it's nice to see the evolution of Oku's artwork from where it started with the first volume up to the end, or in my case, here with Volume 7, and these wonderful drawings that you're seeing right here. Battle Angel Alita, here we have the first two volumes out of six, and you're probably wondering, why didn't I get the oversized hardcover set? And yeah, oversized artwork is always a plus. But I don't know, I don't have a lot of room for box sets, and I kind of like the smaller editions, to be honest. This is the first time I'm actually reading the series, and I'm really excited, so here we go. Dr. Stone Volume 19. I'm no longer reading a lot of Shonen Jump, but I still look forward to Dr. Stone volumes every single time. I love the story, the characters, and of course, that wonderful Boichi artwork. Beastars Volume 15 from Paru Itagaki. I love this series. I look forward to each volume when it comes out. I love the drawings, I love the concept, and the idea of taking the characters out of the Academy and into the real world makes for a much more exciting and dynamic story, in my opinion. Blade of the Immortal Deluxe Edition Volume 4. What can I say that hasn't already been said? This is a fantastic series, kick-ass action scenes, wonderful art, and just an overall coolness to it. I cannot wait to read more volumes of this. Got a new 3-in-1 One Piece volume here containing volume 73, 74, and 75. It's been a while, and I am a little behind when it comes to One Piece, and I know Manga Tuberland, uh, they'll tell you, oh, you gotta get the box sets and the single volumes. I'm okay with the omnibus, with the three-in-ones. I think they look nice, and they feel nice on hand. And yeah, you get more shelf space as a result. Berserk Deluxe Edition Volume 9 from the late Kentaro Miura. Always a treat when I get a new Berserk Deluxe Edition. The art is always fantastic. It looks amazing in the oversized format. Just a beautiful, traumatic, serious, dark fantasy epic that I highly recommend. I mean, yeah, sure, it's super dark and heavy, and not everybody's gonna be okay with it, but I still recommend it anyways. My sole graphic novel purchase, it is Darkstalkers Night Warriors, the complete series. The franchise overall is one of my favorite fighting games. I love the series so much. The aesthetic appeals to me, and the kooky characters with the supernatural aspect is always great. I love me some Darkstalkers, and this won't be the last time you see it on this haul. Moving on to the anime side of things, here we have Hajime no Ippo The Fighting Collection 3, episodes 49 to 76, plus the OAV and the special. This completes that set of Hajime no Ippo Blu-rays from Discotech Media, a wonderful series. I mean, just one of the top tier sports, manga, and anime of all time. You don't even have to like boxing to enjoy this. There's always something special about sports that really does blend well with the art of sequential storytelling, and I cannot recommend it enough. Next up is Inuyasha, the final act, the complete series on Blu-ray. Finally, I grabbed it and completed my collection of Inuyasha. This is one of my all-time favorite series, and I'm so happy to have this on my shelf. I don't know if I'm going to get the Yashahime Blu-rays, as I'm not really liking the story that much. The characters are fine, they're great, but the story, I don't know, not necessarily my favorite out of the bunch. Maybe if I found the Blu-rays for cheap later on, I'll consider getting them. From G-Kids, we got Neon, Genesis, Evangelion, the complete series, along with the two films. This is a noteworthy release, one of the highlights of the year for a lot of people. We finally have Evangelion on Blu-ray and HD. Unfortunately, this release, the one I'm highlighting here, only contains the new Netflix dub, which a lot of people are upset, myself included, because we wanted the ADV dub, and their solution was to hide it behind a paywall. You pay, uh, I think it was more than $150 for the special edition, which comes with art cards and a bunch of other nonsense that I really don't need and you get both dubs, the ADV dub and the Netflix dub, the new one. I mean, it sucks. If you can get it, that's great, more power to you, but I just think it's silly to charge more when you the only thing that you really want is the dubbed version that you grew up with back in the 90s. I don't know. I mean, and there was also the Ultimate Edition or something, which was even pricier with a whole bunch of other stuff that I didn't really need. I just wanted the series on my shelf with the dub, Unfortunately, not gonna happen. 
I'm just gonna watch it subbed. And yeah, now at least I can pair it with my rebuild of Evangelion Blu-rays and have that on my shelf of uh, favorite anime. The Wandering Witch, The Journey of Elena, one of my favorite shows of 2020, a very wholesome, awesome slice of life magical series about this witch girl who wants to travel the world and catalog everything that she sees, meet new people and, and experience life and all the different uh, chapters of it. It's a really great series. And don't let the cover fool you. This series has a lot of dark episodes with some really twisted stories that I really enjoyed. A fantastic mash of wholesomeness, epic stories and scary tales. Really a, a worthwhile experience in my opinion. And if you want to check it out for yourself, here's the digital code. If you claim it, let me know in the comment section down below so I can heart that comment. Record of Lodos War, the OVA, and the Chronicles of the Hero Knight. This is another legendary series from the 90s that I've always wanted to collect. I've seen episodes. I don't think I've seen the whole thing, um, the entirety of it, I should say. But I've seen enough that I was a fan back then, and I still am now. And for some reason, I just forgot to pick up the Blu-ray. And I'm just really excited about it. It's just one of those 90s epic series that brings a lot of nostalgia and makes you relive that golden age of animation when it comes to anime. And like the previous set, here is the digital code. If you grab it, let me know in the comment section down below so I can heart that comment as well. Future Boy Conan from Hayao Miyazaki. I know about the series, I've known about it, but I've never seen it, and this is the first time I'm going to watch it. I'm really excited about that. It's a wonderful looking set. I love that it comes with some extras, like a booklet with character designs and sketches, and just the overall presentation looks really good. A reversible cover, you got the slip cover, the disc art looks good, and of course, the booklet itself. Nice job, G-Kids. And one of the classics from the Japanimation era. Yes, I went there. Yeah, I'm a 90s weeb, guys, and I grew up with this stuff. Ninja Scroll, Akira, the uh, Kenshin, when it was called Samurai X, the OVAs, the uh, Ghost in the Shell movie, and then, of course, the anime boom with the first TV shows that made it over really left an impression on me and made me a fan to this day. And Ninja Scroll was part of that group. I love this movie so much. Bombastic, kick-ass, wonderful animation, just uh, a balls-to-the-wall ride of pure adrenaline ninja action. I... Cannot recommend it enough. And we're back for more Darkstalkers. Here is the complete OVA collection on DVD from the folks of Discotheque Media. A really wonderful release. Unfortunately, it's not available on Blu-ray. Uh, I wish it were on Blu-ray because it would look even better. But yeah, a really solid anime adaptation from the folks at Madhouse, adapting one of my all-time favorite fighting games. I love Darkstalkers. I wish there were more games in the series. I'm still hopeful that we'll get that fourth game eventually, but for now, the books, playing the old games, and watching this OVA collection will suffice. My second ever Nendoroid is, of course, Kumoko the Nameless Spider of So I'm a Spider, So What? Good articulation, wonderful accessories, I really recommend getting it. DVD-wise, I finally got Rodan and War of the Gargantuas, the two-disc collector set. Now, if you know about your Toho collections of physical media, this is one of the harder to find DVDs. It's out of print and people like to charge triple the amount. And I was able to get it at a much lower price, still above retail, still a price I was comfortable enough paying without hurting my wallet, if you know what I mean. Next up is the iconic collection, Best Critics. It's a very lame title, but the four movies collected here are solid, and I mostly got it for two. I wanted The Villainess on Blu-ray, and I wanted Train to Busan on Blu-ray. For the price of those two, I would have been spending 40 to $50, and I got this set for 20 bucks. So I consider that a win, and I get two extra movies as a result. And finally, from Arrow Video, Sailor Suit and Machine Gun. I wanted to check it out for a long time, and then I learned that Arrow uh, licensed the movie, so I was more excited to get it, and I bought the Blu-ray. It looks fantastic. Wonderful attention to detail. The packaging is great. The extra features are, are nice, and it even comes with a heavy booklet of information and all that stuff. So the collector in me loves that stuff, and I finally get to watch this famous movie. Uh, I'm not huge into Yakuza movies. Same with gangsters and crime and all that stuff. That's not my preferred movie genre. But I've heard great things about it and I actually looked a little bit into it, so I'm interested. I'm gonna check it out. 
And that's it for the haul, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you want me to review a specific product that I showed in this video, let me know in the comment section down below. Also, what did you pick up in the month of November? Let me know in the comment section as well. That's about it. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. God bless. Stay safe out there. I will catch all of you on our next video.